This is Don at How To Airbrush, Airbrush Technique Magazine. If you've read the blog on How To Airbrush, you know I've been trying to teach myself how to pinstripe, and I did a lot of research, and the system I chose was Steve Kafka's system. Came with a DVD, Welcome to My World, Volume 1, and Number 3 pinstriping brush of his, a short booklet to give you some guidance, 50 transparencies, and 30 designs. And what you do is you take the transparency, put it over the design, and then pull your lines, wipe it off, pull your lines, wipe it off. It's just repetition, and that's Part of the reason I chose this system. I've never talked to Mr. Kafka, never communicated with him. Um, I just went to Amazon, it was $76 for the, uh, the whole setup. I'm using one shot enamel just because it's a lot, I think it's a lot easier to use. You can wipe it off with rubbing alcohol, uh, mineral spirits. It's a lot better than using something like a reducer to have to clean things up. So this is how I'm trying to teach myself how to pinstripe. I'll keep you updated on my little blog on howtoairbrush.com. Um, I've been at it about three weeks. I practice at least half hour, if not more, every night. I've just taken some of the time I used to spend on Facebook and the rest of the internet places and uh, committed it to learning how to pinstripe. It's something I've been wanting to do for years. Um, and I finally committed to doing it. A little word on the DVD, he really didn't, he says in the DVD he didn't set out to make an instructional DVD. Um, I think he did a pretty good job in doing just that. He should basically walks you through a lot of his designs, how he does them, uh, how he uses colors, how he holds the brush and makes a uh, tripod with his hands. The DVD is, is really worth it. The whole setup is really worth it. After, like I said, after research, I think this is the best way to go if you want to learn how to pinstripe. You can keep track of my progress on the blog on howtoairbrush.com. This is Dan. How to. Thank you.